Hej, Bejl. Hello, Mr. Vrish. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is really an honor to, uh, you know, be on this platform and uh, sharing my journey with so many people who are uh, attached to Masterstroke. It's really been a privilege. Welcome and it's our pleasure to have you and the stage is all yours. And I want you to um, inspire other people. Uh, how did you achieve 150 crores? So for the next three, four minutes, all you, you can uh, speak about your journey and motivate us. So I actually started as a mutual fund distributor uh, in uh, on 1st September 2017. Uh, back then, I used to work as a banker with uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank. And uh, I uh, left my corporate uh, job and started my journey as a mutual fund distributor. My initial base uh, was supported by a few banking customers who decided to, you know, join me on my journey on the personal side. So carrying that as a base and uh, thereafter getting references from them uh, has been the sole journey uh, or the, you know, the place where I am today at 150 crores. This entire AUM has been uh, built by the references of my existing customers. Uh, so six years, six years is too less a period to achieve 150 crores. And I don't think many distributors have done this. Part. Okay. Yeah, six years. I'll be exactly completing six years this 31st August. And uh, so, like I said, that the initial AUM uh, support that I got from my clients, the banking customers who moved in with me was roughly about 18 to 19 crores. And from there, uh, it has been solely a reference journey. So I... Yeah. So, 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 what, uh, what about your SIP book? Are you also very strong in SIP? Yeah, I, uh, the SIP book is right now at eighty lakh rupees. Wow, fantastic, fantastic! Yeah. I'm aiming to first reach the first uh, milestone that is one percent of the AUM, which is to be set up. And but I, I obviously want to bring it at a more healthier number. Like I was going through your entire presentation, and from last so many months, I have been thinking that I have to do one percent of my AUM. But now I think I need to start uh, aiming big. So I want to make it five percent of my AUM, the SIP book, which will actually you know uh, make it bigger. That is phenomenal. So, Pile, along this, uh, along your journey in the last six years, yeah. any any specific instances you want to share with the audience about some challenges you face and how you handle them? Uh, sir, I would say that uh, you know I have so I uh, I'm from Mumbai and uh, I didn't face much of challenges though I would say, but yes, the one challenge that I faced was that. Uh, the the trust uh, from people, the new clients' references whom were pouring in, and when I used to go to meet them, uh, being a female and uh, doing this business alone from home, uh, there was a lack of trust or you know the lack of confidence. That is one thing which I uh, faced as a challenge. Yeah. Any any issue with the direct customer? Uh, no, no, sir. Why I asked you this question is that there's so many 229 people are there listening to you right now. Mm -hmm. And we are also recording this session so that we can put it on the YouTube channel. So uh, Pyle is saying no challenge from the direct customer, even in a city like Mumbai. Yeah, no so. challenge, sir. Because I am very clear about one thing, sir, that, uh, you know, uh, there is always like, you know, uh, there are websites who can in today in most of the fields. Okay. Like my own husband is into the travel industry. I will give you a very simple example. There are um, DIY websites like Make My Trip and Clear Trip, etc., where people can actually do their own booking and plan their travel, etc. And then there are travel agents also. But there, there is still a set of clientele who will select the agent because they want a one-on-one -on -one communication. Yes. They want to be when they are going on a holiday, at least, they want to be at the best of the peace of mind that, you know, if anything happens, I just have to pick up a call and the person on the other side will answer me. I don't have to be on a call center waiting for somebody to answer within some limited number of hours. So my our business is also the same way. Direct business will never have the personal touch which a regular client will have. They will never have somebody who is sharing their dreams sharing their aspirations and sharing their journey. What I am doing is, you know, the engagement level 
which we have which we have with our customers is that we share every small happiness and you know every journey or every milestone of that customer and we we plan financially for them for every milestone which a direct platform will never be able to offer fantastic and, and what we do is sir uh, we we don't have to really managing money is only one part of it of this business we are managing emotions we have to handle the customer when the markets are very high a euphoria is going on or when the markets are very low like it was in the covid period that is where we have, we play the major role we have to manage the emotions of the customers absolutely money, right because market is not in our control what we are doing we can do the best by you know following the master so research platform that we are getting and all the things that we are using we can do our best but market is going to play its role the economical changes are not in our control but yes once we are uh, a part of the client's journey i can be sure that you know we will always be there in uh, long term with them i want to be a little selfish here i want to ask you did masters to help you achieve uh, your uh, uh, help you uh, along the way of your journey yes yes sir i actually uh, first year i was offered this uh, from icsa prudential but later uh, i have renewed the platform and i have actually upgraded the membership what i was offered from icsa was a basic membership but i love the platform so much that even after like 3 or 4 months of having that membership i upgraded uh, to it and then i have been renewing thereafter so master stroke uh, online has certainly been helpful to me any final message you want to give to 230 people who are listening to you right now sir all i would say is that uh, maintain a high level of engagement with your clients be available for your customers and uh, be a part on their events whether they are good events of their lives Have marriages and uh, you know uh, birthdays etc and even the sad moments of their lives the whenever there is a demise in the family or whatever it is you have to be there as much as a part of the customer's family thank you so much it was lovely to have you pile on the show congratulations on achieving 150 crores and the next thank target so is 1000 crores and with a big sip book value and um, uh, all the very best to you your family and uh, we we'll love to have you again at masterstroke Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. That was pile, and now we'll move on with the agenda. We will have your question and answers, but uh, there are a couple of announcements I want to make first, and then uh, we will move on. So, pile, I will remove you. In yes. uh, you, you, yeah. All right. So there was pile. Wonderful. Being a lady, six years, Bombay, one hundred and fifty crores. So, friends, there are no excuse. No excuse, no. मतलब और पायल ने एक बहुत अच्छी बात बोली द लॉ ऑफ अट्रैक्शन अगेन अच्छा सोचो ये सोचो कि क्लाइंट डायरेक्ट नहीं जा सकता बिकॉज को पीस ऑफ माइंड चाहिए ये नहीं सोचने का है कि क्लाइंट चला जाएगा आधी एनर्जी तो म्यूचुअल फंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर की इसी में चली जाती है कि क्लाइंट चला जाएगा कि क्या गलत हो रहा है सोचना ही छोड़ दो अच्छा ही होगा ये सोचकर 